from living with a mentally unstable mother to being raised in orphanages, Colet Parsons has faced many obstacles. She documents her journey to overcoming the challenges she faced in her book, The True Story of the Purple Lady. You know, that's royalty. And she's my guest. And she joins me now. Good morning, Colette. Good morning. Dad. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you so much for having me. No, thank you mm -hmm. for sharing your story because it is a real powerful one. Thank you. And I started with just the beginning, being raised. And that's, an, that's something a lot of young Jamaicans face and they don't know how. Right. to deal with it. What was that like for you, being raised by your mom? Um, I was not. Basically, I was actually born on the street. My mom was in labor, mm. and she broke a bottle to cut the cord. Mm. And someone saw her, picked her up, and, you know, take us to the Jubilee Hospital. Of course, Children's Services took care of me, because obviously she couldn't take care of me. She was mentally ill. Mm -hmm. But going to school, I've always said I want to help my mom. I want to... I'm going to go to school to give her a better home. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, at age 15, she was found beaten to death mm. at Crossroads Bakery. And mm. I, it, it took them like a whole week to tell me because everyone knew how much my mom meant to me. And when I went to her funeral, she was in a beautiful purple casket mm. and a lavender dress. Mm -hmm. I whispered to her, in the casket and I told her, mommy, I promise you, I'm going to give you a better life in spirit. Mm -hmm. So everything that I do is for her. All my success and my accomplishment is for her. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want people, I'm just here to help many people that wants to give up. Don't give up, mm -hmm. just keep going, just keep pushing and don't just, don't use your experience because guess what? Whatever you go through that makes you a better person, mm -hmm. right? And your past does not determine your future. Correct. And I am a really living testimony of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so everything. But what, what, what would have put that drive in you, Colin? What was that drive that kept you going? Because when I read your journey, one of the things you are determined to do was to be great at education because you saw that as a, a way out. Yes. Even when people around you right. were saying, what is she doing? This is not for you. What, 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 what was that drive? It's, it's to help my mom. Yeah. Because, I mean, I see her living on the street. I would pass her in bus or taxi mm -hmm. and see her there. And I kept saying to myself, I have to go to school mm -hmm. so I can get a good job to help her. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept me going. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. it was taken away from me. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to help her in a physical world. Mm -hmm. And when I went to the funeral, they asked me, what did you whisper to your mom? And I told them, I told this guy, I said, one day, you're going to find out what I whispered to her. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, that was 15 years old and I'm 40. And this is the proof right here. And this right is here. the accomplishment. And this is the accomplishment. My girl, it, it hasn't been easy. I mean, one of the things is attempting to cross borders. Yes. Ah. The best way, because I, I knew I had a lot in me. Mm -hmm. And... The best way I could explain it is you go to what you have an occasion to go to, right? Mm -hmm. And you want a particular shoes. Mm -hmm. If you go to that store and that shoes doesn't, it's not at that store. You're going to go to another store, correct? Mm -hmm. You're going to go to another store, right? If it's it. not downtown, if it's uptown, until you get it. Mm -hmm. That's the best way I can describe mm -hmm. what I did and how I was able to do it. Because many people call it, I could never do what you did. Yes, I did. I tried it to cross. It wasn't until the other day I realized that there were Jamaicans who were crossing borders. Yes. That way, going through 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 Mexico. Right. Call it, that can be a dangerous experience. It, it, you what know, was that like for you? It was you scared. I, I mean, I wasn't scared, and it's crazy that um, they treated me really good. I don't know why, but 
When I got to the border, they realized and that my documents was not right and whatever. Mm -hmm. And they actually treated me good. They actually treated me good. I guess because I went there and I was crying and I explained to them that all I wanted was a better life. Yeah. Because I knew I have it in me. Mm -hmm. But believe it or not, there's a lot more opportunities in the States than here. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I did it because look what I've accomplished. Yeah. You know? Uh, Ill-fated dad. Oh, my God. Overprotective. I want a better word, gangster mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. But yet, there was a man who changed their life. Yes, that was Glenn Christian. Yes. And I call him daddy. Yes. And Glenn Christian, I want to thank you so much. That day when he picked me up from the street, it changed my life. And I want to thank the Caramet family mm -hmm. for being there for me and not giving up, you know, on, you. on me. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank Mr. Christian so much for that. Thank you, Daddy. Because this was the third day after my mom died. Mm -hmm. When I buried my mom, the third day, it almost re remind me of when God was risen, the Jesus was risen from the dead the third day, right? Mm -hmm. The exact third day. He saw you. He saw me at the street mm -hmm. and pick up this child. She needs help. Mm. You know, so he gave me a home, he gave me a job, and I just want to thank all the Caramed family for being there for me and never giving up on me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the confusion. I'm going through some of the chapters. Talk yeah. to me about the confusion. This poor woman who blamed me for her current state immediately gave my attention and a huge part of my heart. Something about her being in the most fragile position a woman can be while being subjected to such infliction, tore my heart apart. I wanted to do all I could to make her feel perhaps a tad better. So here you are, trying to navigate your own world, trying to make things better for you, but, but, but you are preoccupied with helping yes, other people. Always. Yeah. And I still do it to today mm -hmm. because I, I want to touch, I want to help as many people. Like, don't give up. Don't get me wrong, Delia. There are many times I felt like giving up. I know, I know. But so we talked about this, you and I, yeah. <laughs> before the interview started. Right. Um, and I said, let the tears continue to flow, you know, call it because. Sorry. No, 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 never be sorry to yeah. cry. We and I spoke about this because we, you know, before the interview, you were emotional as well. And I said to you, every teardrop tells a story. Yeah. But it's a story of resilience. It's a story of determination. Mm -hmm. It's a story of overcoming. Yes. You wrote this book, The yeah. True, story True Story of the Purple Lady. What are you hoping people okay. will take away from this story? Oh, my God. My readers so far, I've had many readers. So on Amazon, I have a very good rating. Mm. And Sangster's Bookstore... I'm still surprised they rate my book as 90.5. Wow. That's what my book has been rated also mm -hmm. on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So The Gold is, is a very inspiring book. It is. Very inspiring. And when I wrote it, I wanted to write it raw. I was saying about it raw. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to look pretty. Mm -hmm. I want it to be who, what, what it is, because I want to reach experience. many people from different levels. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. From the low level to the medium level to the high level. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it that exact way so everyone will understand exactly where I'm coming from. And that's what I think is the most powerful thing about it, because sometimes when I speak to people about their journey, yeah. um, sometimes they're a little bit ashamed to talk about it, so they, they give me some, but not everything. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people will share a little bit, but it's too painful to share everything. But call it, you put it all out in this book. Yeah. And I salute you, thank you. and I thank you, because there are people that are gonna be inspired thank by you. this. It's available on Amazon. Yes. People can get it on Sangster's Bookstore. Before right. you go, are you on social media so we can follow you? Yes, you Where can are show you? me. And then I have in my book launch. It's, keeping at, it's going to be at the St. Luke's Church. Yes. 89 Stipe Road. Yes. So it's going to be on the 4th. So people of can April. come out of April. What time? It's going to be 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. So they can come out and purchase. Also get my autograph and they can purchase Talk a book about it. for 1500 which will be discounted mm -hmm. on that day. And your social media? My social media is going to be Colette Parsons, mm -hmm. right? 
And um, Instagram is also Colette Parsons. All right. Right, on Instagram. So. Girl, girl. Thank you. Girl, you did it. And you will continue to do it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Author, true story of the purple lady. Isn't she royal? Yes. Colette Parsons. Thank you. That's off the shelf. After the break, we meet a creative cop with a passion for public speaking. Smile Jamaica continues after this. <laughs>